Terry Gillespie here and welcome to book review, the books I loved. And I can't wait to tell you about Gail Pelota's book, Cooking Up a Mystery. And oh, also, by the way, Gail is my July featured author um, for my author highlights. So I'll both be interviewing her in, on my blog and on one of these videos. And she's going to be giving away a free book too, which is pretty exciting. So Gail is, um, Gail's book, Cooking Up a Mystery, is in paperback and in uh, ebook. And the genre is Christian suspense and cozy culinary mystery, which is cute. Uh, let's see. Her website is www.gailpelota.com. And thanks to my wonderful husband that just appeared here. And, um, but also know that her website and all sorts of really important links are down below, especially where you can buy this book. And on your way down, if you haven't already, if you could hit the subscribe button, um, that will help out a lot and you'll be able to see more videos like this where I talk about new books that are out uh, that are great reads. And also um, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Now, I YouTube has just changed some things. So apparently, if you like, it doesn't always show, I don't always know when you like. So, but if you comment, I will know that you commented. And people who are looking for good reads, when they see a comment, they will generally stop and watch this video. And we want Gail's book to get out there and um, have as much visibility as possible. So Gail is an award-winning author and a wife and a mom, a swimmer, and a bargain shopper who loves God, beach sunsets, and getting together with friends and family. She's a former Grace Awards finalist, a 2017 Reader's Favorite Book Awards recipient, and a Top Shelf 2020 Book Awards finalist. She's published six books, and she's published poems, short stories, and 200 articles. Some of her articles appear in anthologies, while two are actually in museums. So my review for Cooking Up a Mystery is, author Gail Pallotta has served up another delicious page-turning mystery filled with suspense. Cooking Up a Mystery features a recently divorced chef, Lainey, who, thanks to her philandering ex-husband, has trust issues. So when she delivers food to an injured, handsome college professor, Eric, who shows interest in her, she shies away, even though she's attracted to him. She tries to convince herself that she can't be bothered with exploring these new feelings for the professor or any relationships because she has a new tea room and catering business and some strange happenings are going on in her restaurant at night. Mm -hmm. Those noises Lainey thinks are partly her overactive imagination turn out to be more, much more. And Eric wants to help her solve the mystery. Good guy, Eric. Lainey and Eric's humorous and touching story will leave Christian romantic mystery lovers feeling very satisfied. Oh, and there are some incredible recipes at the end of the book. So that makes it kind of nice. So I've got my little apron and my favorite wooden spoon. You can purchase Cooking Up a Mystery at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, BookBub, and at local 
retailers, local bookstores. Now, if the book is not there, be sure you go to the customer service desk and say, please order this book for me. Anytime you can't find one of one of these books, be sure and, and ask them to order it. It really makes a difference. My reviews are posted on applicable venues like Amazon, Goodreads, BookBub, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, NetGalley, and ChristianBook.com. And also remember, if you can, to if you haven't already, subscribe to my e-newsletter and the links are down below and you'll get two new free gifts. And I'm going to be changing those up eventually I mean, you'll find out about that. But the first gift is the first chapter of the third book and the final book in the Hair Maven series, Really Bad Hair Day. And guess what? It's out! Yay! So you can get a little sneak peek at, at this book um, with your first gift. And the second gift will come a week later. And that's a special surprise that I've been getting some really sweet comments from people who have received it. Uh, also, the links, I'm going to go ahead and add the links to my books as well. I haven't in the past, but since this is a new new book that's come out. You can kind of see it in the background there. I um, uh, appreciate that you're checking that out as well. So please also follow, like, and subscribe on my social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, BookBub, Goodreads, and MeWe. So thanks so much for watching this month's book review. And be sure and check out the author highlight blog and um, video that's coming up on July 7th and 8th. And um, you might win one of Gail's books. So thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you next month. And remember, God bless and keep reading.